Hi, I'm Don Peterson. I'm your webmaster for Sacramento City College. And this is a short intro to the WordPress dashboard area. If you've been assigned as an editor for your subsite on the Sacramento City College website, this is where you begin. And the web address that I started at at this point was www.scc.losrios.edu slash wp-admin, A-D-M-I-N. And it redirects to wp-login.php, and you will get a login screen like this one. For username, you're going to use your Los Rios issue W number. And for your password, use the associated password. You can click Remember Me if you like, and click Login. You'll be taken to the dashboard area for WordPress, and you will see a black bar across the top here. It says Welcome over on the right-hand side, Login over on the left, and a couple more buttons here that are of interest. Under My Sites, if you hover on that, you'll see a drop-down that shows any sites that you have been assigned to as an editor. I have a random user here that I've set up and they have two sites assigned to them. And then whichever site you're currently working on will show up here on the next button over and you can visit the site from there. And there's some other buttons here that we'll get to later. On the left hand side you'll see a main menu for navigating around your dashboard area. You'll see home and my sites here on the left and then you'll see a bunch of other buttons here. One thing I want to start with here is the workflow of working within this dashboard area. I often like to look back and forth between what I'm working on in the dashboard and what's going in, what's going on in the front end. And I could just click right here on that site name in this top bar and it will open in the same tab and I'll see the front end of whatever I'm working on. Well, this can be a little bit annoying going back and forth between the two. So what I usually do is right click on that item and say open, open link in new tab. Now I've got two and I can always jump back and forth between them. This is taking a little bit to load. There we go. So I have the dashboard here. I have the front end here and I just work back and forth between them. Another option is your profile may already be set up this way but you can go to your profile and look for the word toolbar on the left hand side and uh, there's a checkbox next to it that says show toolbar when viewing site and I click that and I can either scroll down to the bottom here to click update profile or I can see that update profile has just appeared up here in my black toolbar. We have something set up where edits uh, can be updated and posts can be published, etc. using a button up here in the toolbar instead of scrolling up and down all the time. So I can click that and now if I visit the site sorry it's taking a while there the black bar follows along with me and I can go back and forth between them. I can go back to the dashboard from here And sometimes you won't see profile shown directly in this black bar on the left hand side. For example, if I go to this other website under my sites, it's tucked away under the word users. So I hover over users and I can choose your profile and I choose to turn that back off. I don't care for this black bar when I'm viewing the website because I want to see the website as the users do. So I've updated that profile and now I will view the site as users do without the black bar. So here's how to get between my two sites. Here's how to update whatever I'm working on. Here's how to view the current page. On the left hand side here you may see lots of stuff that can get a little confusing. There are a lot of options. We have a lot of flexibility on our website but mainly you're going to work here under pages. And if you click on pages you'll see a list of the pages that are currently 
on your website, this subsite, and we will work on creating new pages and editing pages in future tutorials.